right, folks. Uh, yeah, we're going to uh, take you on a, a quick tour here uh, of our training resources, uh, programs, and plans. Uh, and I'm going to start. by emphasizing a point that I think Mike just made very, very well, and that is that training is the foundation of distributed security and active defense. What we offer to small, medium, and all sized enterprises includes online courses, resources, and training plans. This is a fairly unique set of offerings uh, uh, in the industry of which we are a part. We offer a very, very wide range of resources uh, online for, for self-paced instruction and uh, pre-course preparation and post-course follow-up uh, and, and ongoing training plans to assist in, uh, uh, in on-site training and practice uh, going forward. Uh, Ron will give you a, a, a quick tour through those exact resources on our website here shortly. Uh, we also offer uh, several on-range firearms tactics courses, basic firearms, uh, individual tactics, and team tactics uh, to finally, uh, as sort of the capstone of that private security cadre training. Uh, we have uh, the ability to provide uh, on-site customized training engagements where we take uh, our available resources and, uh, and programs and tailor them directly to your circumstances and your needs. We can offer uh, complete turnkey infrastructure training plus provisioning and outsourcing packages um, to, to meet your requirements. We also uh, offer a program to train enterprise leaders because uh, training security operators as individuals and even training them to function effectively as small teams uh, is only part of effective active defense. It's only part of a comprehensive security plan. Uh, we offer what we call the Command School, which is a three-day seminar format course that is designed primarily for CEOs and senior security managers, uh, but is also open at your discretion to your security cadre members. Uh, this three-day seminar addresses primarily how you would develop and integrate uh, an active defense component into your security plan and how you would recruit screen, train, and operate private security force composed of your own employees. In order to accomplish all of this, uh, we base all of our training upon an extensive existing body of intellectual property. Uh, training programs, courses, manuals, drills, videos, and supporting materials, these are all fully developed and ready for use. And let me just uh, scan quickly through the matrix that we use to uh, uh, to monitor and, and uh, uh, maintain and develop this intellectual property. Uh, as you can see uh, here, we have a, a list of content uh, in our in our IP library, uh, and all of it uh, characterized by what format it is available in, what plans it is offered in and how it is integrated into individual courses uh, and the, and the uh, roll-up uh, offerings uh, that we present to enterprises. And it goes from, as you see here on this uh, first page, uh, uh, simply introductory material to people who, uh, who are unfamiliar with firearms and are, and are considering owning one and training with it. And I, let me just flip quickly down through this document so you can see the scope of the materials that we have available. Took me to the bottom. Let's run it back up to the top. Okay, uh, firearms fundamental courses uh, incorporate all of these individual components available online, integrated into on-range training programs, available for review online. Tactics for individuals and, and uh, two people working together. Uh, these are tactics programs equivalent to the training provided to uh, law enforcement SWAT teams and special operations. We move into team tactics where we integrate those skills into the operations of a three, four, five, six person team. And then we have our command school, the seminar format program for enterprise leadership. And then we have our specialized programs in tactical medicine and tactical communications. 
Uh, all of that is on the shelf in our pockets and ready to present upon demand. So at that point, I would like to pass this to uh, Ron. Ron, the presentation is yours. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, as Les mentioned, my name is Ron Danielewski. I am a EVP and the chief instructor at DSI. And, uh, you know, Bill kind of gave you the uh, 100,000 foot overview of the curricula. There's obviously a lot there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back around here. I'm going to give you maybe a 50,000 foot tour of our training plan and the Defense Academy. Um, there is a lot of information in here uh, that I'm obviously not going to be able to share with you uh, due to time limits. Uh, if you're considering our program uh, for your enterprise, I'd be happy to give you a more in-depth tour uh, with Q&A at a later date. Um, you can get a hold directly uh, into DSI, patch into DSI. Mike will give you all that contact information. You can contact me and we'll schedule a more private in-depth tour uh, at a later time. Okay, so I'm going to start here at our homepage. Uh, you log in here. You see me. I'm logged in. Uh, it gives me the log out option. Uh, normally what you'd see is an uh, option to use your username and password to get in. Uh, once you're in, you'll find yourself at our headquarters page. And you can see the programs Bill's talking about, the basic advanced team. We also have instructors and students uh, as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you our basic plan. I'm going to click here, and it's going to take us over to the basic plan for individuals. And this might be a little bit hard for you to see on your computer screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really quick flip over here to my copy. I can kind of blow this up a little bit for you and uh, make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, as the title suggests, this is the student copy of our individual and team training plans. If you kind of look down here at the bottom, you can see we have not just that, but we've also got the Tier 3, the Tier 2, and the Tier 1, which is the individual, the team tactics, and the enterprise offerings we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it, it, I'd like to start by saying that you know, no matter where you go for training, um, if you're taking a uh, you know, four-hour, eight-hour, 16-hour a 32 hour course, um, it, what gives an individual the skills is uh, not the course that they're taking. <clears throat> what gives the students the skills, the adult learner the skills, is actually practicing this stuff uh, at home, uh, practicing this stuff on a regular basis. And so what we've done is we've come up with these uh, training plans and what they allow a student to do, again, whether they've been with us for four hours or uh, 32 hours or whatever extent, it gives the students an ability to come back in uh, to the training uh, plan and then start working their way through uh, what they've already learned. Uh, and what this also allows us to do is prep the students uh, for uh, intellectual um, discussions they can have uh, by looking uh, at this material ahead of time before they take the course uh, so they're more prepared when they get to the range with their instructors. Uh, we do not spend uh, classroom time uh, with instructors on the range. Uh, that range time is very precious, so we spend uh, almost all of our range time with practical hands-on uh, application uh, of the skills. <clears throat> so this is pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, you'll see the task name, and we basically hand walk students through each step. Uh, to supplement this, uh, we do uh, dry practice on a regular basis online, live with students, so we can uh, answer their questions about those training plans uh, three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Morning time, we can schedule different times as needed, uh, but we can answer students' questions uh, live, in person, um, all the time. So. Uh, these are pretty well thought out. These are pretty well put together. Um, if you look at these, you'll see that uh, over here in the notes column, a uh, student can hover over these notes and they'll be able to see exactly what that task is in great detail. Uh, as the students work their way through this, for instance, 
uh, you can come over here and let's say uh, presentation reholstering. There's a description here uh, of what we want them to do. And then there's a link. You can click on that link. That link will take you directly again into the website. And what it does is it gives the students a really quick uh, introductory sentence on what they'll be learning. It gives them a short uh, three to five minute video, and then it gets into uh, detail of how the particular skill we're wanting them to learn uh, is approached, how it's executed, uh, and gives them a great deal of information of not just how to do it, but why we're doing the things the way we're doing. If you look in the right hand column, uh, you can see that uh, we made navigation through these pretty easy for the students to include putting our manuals up here on the right hand side and putting different drills, handgun, rifle, shotgun drills over here on the right side. So for instance, uh, if you look at this, you'll see we're at 06, draw a presentation. Uh, you can come down here, 06, draw a presentation. You can go to 07 if you want to about contact drills, et cetera. Um, so let me take you through the rest of the website, the headquarters page you saw when we first locked in. Um, if you'll remember when I showed you the uh, headquarters page, uh, you saw that basic membership, that's here as well. Uh, so you can go for the basic, the advanced team membership. Uh, contents has our videos, for instance, handgun drills, uh, you'll see we're at right here, six. Again, you can navigate that way. Same works with shotgun, rifle drills. Our manuals uh, and our library are here as well. Uh, resources, we've got forums. Those work the way all forums work. We have a threat center. Uh, that can give you uh, detailed information on what's going on in your AO. Uh, we're partnering with uh, various organizations for that. We've got case study resources, instructor information, et cetera. Uh, you can see down here, I mentioned previously the dry practice training. We do that live uh, in the mornings. We also have weekly conference calls uh, for, for instance, a tour like this uh, with not quite the same time restraints as we have now. Uh, we have online courses. <clears throat> Uh, you can, DSI offers three types of certifications. We have a certificate of achievement if a student comes through and only does the hand portion, uh, handgun portion, rifle, shotgun portions of the training. Uh, if they come to the online courses, they can also get a certificate of achievement for completing the appropriate tier training uh, for their training by using the uh, online portion. Uh, but they only get the graduate certificate if they come through, they complete both the online and the on-range uh, portion of the training. Uh, these all go in depth. Uh, they begin with the introduction of the material. Uh, they finish with a quiz. Uh, the quiz it automatically generates a certificate that goes to the students, uh, and they can. Uh, we ask them to print those out, keep a hard copy, uh, and I can explain that in a little bit. Uh, we've got uh, a student portal uh, that gets into the handgun basics because uh, handgun rifle shotgun basics where we do the pre-course training as well as post-course training. Uh, then we've got uh, CFI Defender 300 uh, DSI. They'll take you back to our home page. And I think the only thing I really want to add on top of this is uh, the student portal. Uh, go to the pre-course training. And um, what I'd like to point out to you is the, uh, whoop, well, I'll go down here to the uh, going deeper section. Oop. I'll tell you what, there's an easy way to navigate to this. Let's go to the post course training. Uh, we also have a training notebook. I want to keep this real brief. Uh, the tra students need to print out this training notebook. Um, and it does two things. The first thing it does is it helps them achieve their goals. Uh, in a very rapid uh, order of uh, succession, of being able to uh, look at it, what it is they want to do and uh, achieve those goals uh, methodically. Um, we do everything in that from uh, taking the students, showing them how to set up a safe dry practice area in their own home, uh, through how to uh, start working on what is called mental management. And it finally concludes uh, down here at the bottom um, with their record of training and courses. And as I mentioned previously, uh, we have them print out those certificates. Uh, these training notebooks uh, are the primary training tool the students will use uh, in their training, their own self-training. Um, and we have them print out those certificates, not just of DSI, but any other defensive training they get anywhere. That goes into the back end of this book. That's all of the material in here is archived. 
uh, once a month. And uh, those we ask the students, uh, their certificates, uh, their training log, their training logs, uh, their whole mental management aspect of this uh, to be uh, archived in a safe place, uh, for instance, where they might put their wills, their stocks, their bonds, their certificates uh, in, in a safe space that they can, if, you know, you know, God forbid they actually have to use these skills, uh, then they have the ability to pull this out and we encourage them to get their defense team uh, to submit their training as evidence. And what that allows them then to do, if that is accepted as evidence, is to uh, be able to open up the entire course curricula uh, to their jury, uh, which then um, allows that jury to understand why that individual uh, made the decisions they made in the scariest few seconds of their lives. Um, again, it was a quick overview of uh, DSI uh, and our program. Um, and again, I'd love to, if you're interested in this, uh, take you on a deeper journey in this uh, at a later date. Uh, I'm gonna...